In this video, I'm going to show you how to style one nail polish color in three different ways. Watch to the end for a bonus way. Hi, I'm Beck from Easy Nail Art. In my last video, I said that I genuinely don't believe you need a big nail polish collection to create amazing nail art. In fact, I think it's super impressive when people are able to make a number of different designs using only a couple of colors, as shown to us by people like Gabby Angelique. And not to sound hypocritical of myself, but sometimes having a large nail polish collection can be overwhelming. So let's just use one nail polish. To start off with, choose your shade. I went with pink because it's a pretty versatile shade and I knew it would look good with each of the ideas that I had. Also, I bought a heap of cheap nail polish secondhand when I first started getting into nail polish and a lot of them weren't cruelty free. So I'm trying to use those up instead of throwing them out. Comment down below what is the one nail polish shade you can't live without. First way, negative space. My first way to style this one colour in three ways is a simple negative space design. I personally don't think you need to use a separate brush that can be too time consuming and it can come out lumpy, but you do whatever you need to do. The easiest way to do this is start at the top on one side and go straight down the nail. Then from the bottom of your nail on the other side, drag the brush up diagonally to meet the top. This way you cover all of the white of your nail, assuming the length is short. You can do this in all different ways, but personally I think this direction looks the best and is the easiest. Second way, glitter top coat. My second way is a glitter top coat. You can get an almost infinite amount of top coats that will change the way a cream polish looks. And I love it so much. I'm thinking of creating a video dedicated to different types of glitter top coats or special effect top coats. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see this. I've gone with a simple silver glitter top coat as I think it's the most versatile. Again, this is from my secondhand not cruelty free stash that I would like to use up. You can also mix it up by just doing one accent nail with glitter and leaving the rest as they are. You can also mix it up by doing just one accent nail with the glitter top coat. Usually this is the ring finger or by doing the whole manicure with a glitter top coat. Please note that you'll need to put a normal top coat over the top of this. Glitter can be pretty lumpy, so it might require two layers of top coat, two coats of top coat. Third way, dry brushing. Third way wasn't exactly what I had intended when I created this these three looks, but I thought it looked cool when I was filming, so I kept it. Assuming you saw my last video about what nail art essential items you need, you'll have a black and a white polish. If you didn't, I'll put that in the card at the top. I'll also link to the blog post in the description box below as it contains downloadable shopping lists. Paint the nail white, then dry brush over the top of the white with your color. Dry brushing means taking most of the polish off the brush and then applying it so it comes out really streaky and it's a really cool effect. You can do this over the top of any light shade that matches or even just straight onto the nail with, for a negative nail art look. Just make sure that you use base coat, please. Bonus way. My bonus way is add a matte top coat. Plain nail polish, glitter nail polish, nail art, just your nails in general with nothing on them. It doesn't matter. A top coat will change the look of your polish and add something extra to it. If you're ready for the next nail art, click to watch this easy 90s neon no tools nail art. Thanks for watching. Bye.